What's going on guys? Ollie from Flight Comp and we're back again working on the Dragonfly build from DCU. Uh, basically it's just about done. I've got the whole model assembled. I've got everything hinged. I'll show you the hinges in a little more detail later. Um, right now I'm just trying to get a receiver and battery installed using El Cheapo uh, Orange DMSS Hobby King receiver just because I had one laying around and been playing with batteries and even with this gigantic 18650 uh, pack I think this is like over 2500 milliamps or so um, even with this pack in here it still needs nose, nose weight so why not? I'm just going to throw this pack in because better battery than lead. And we'll probably still have to put a little bit of uh, lead in there to balance. But basically once I charge this battery up, we'll be able to fly for, you know, probably forever. Because we're just driving two servos. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to bind this to my uh, JRX G8 radio and then get all the stuff in here and work on the balance. Okay, finally the Dragonfly is done. I balanced it. I put that gigantic battery in here and had to add about another ounce to get it to balance. The plans called for three inches from the leading edge, so that's where I balanced it to start with. So everything is done. Um, I'll show you the throws I'm working with here using my JRXG8 radio. So I have just like a lot of throw on the ailerons, and I have triple rates in case it's too much. And then on the elevator, sort of the same deal, maximum throws, and then I have triple lit, triple rates. Um, did obviously hook up the uh, elevator push rod using a plastic clevis and carbon fiber push rod, and the regular horn that came with the kit. See the elevator servo in there, it's got a really short arm. And then I have receiver here and I uh, just double sided taped the regular switch alongside of it. Batteries underneath have a little bit of lead up here, stuffed in some foam to hold everything in place. This is the balance lead for the uh, lithium ion pack and the charge lead here. So yeah, she's basically ready to go. Um, so the ready to fly weight is 612 grams or uh, about 21.5 ounces. So according to the plans, I'm probably on the lighter end of the build. You know, I guess back in the day, they probably would have used heavier gear, heavier servos and stuff, and, and definitely probably heavier push rod going to the tail. So yeah, that's it. Um, now the question is, when will I find... A time and place to fly this thing. Oh, I didn't. I don't know if I showed you, but this is my canopy retention. Just a aluminum pin in the front, epoxied in, and then a long carbon rod at the back, fiberglassed in there with some epoxy. So yeah, now I have to find a location and time and some wind, and hopefully we'll go fly this thing really soon.